ABC. Friday, April 10th. Seems like it's a, it's a significant day personally, but I can't remember whose birthday it is. I know that several people that I know and love have birthdays in April around this time. I can never keep together the actual dates, but I'm back because um, I received another, a couple more gifts. Thank you folks so much, you know. I purposely put on a different sweater. Yeah, I wear tore up clothes um, uh, because I wear clothes for comfort. And um, also, I think that, you no, know, in a way, this is a statement too. Not in a way, but I will claim my clothing as a statement where we always want to make sure the picture is perfect. I'm the same, you know. But in fact, this torn sweater is a much more accurate representation of how things are in the world today far from perfect and and really quite quite frayed and uh, damaged so I got a couple of packages that tried to get delivered and I missed them one is from Marius Heinz in Germany Marius I've never met but through the exchanges here on the internet, it's a warm, friendly exchange. Um, I like Marius, and obviously he feels like towards me. And um, he sent me one record, but boy, did he send me a great record. Gam Gamora. I turned to see whose face it was. German hard rock, that's what's playing in the background. This is a reissue. This originally came out in 1972 on Brain Records. I've shown the CD in past in past videos. So Marius knew that this is something I liked. And I love having this stuff on vinyl. Gatefold, 180 gram vinyl. The album is monster. I'm going to turn it down a little more. Again, I don't like to use that term kraut rock, but this is just, in my opinion, just a very, very excellent example of 70s rock coming out of Germany. Heavy, um, slightly acid dipped gum Gamora. Marius, thank you so much. I've already posted this online and thanked him. We've already spoken this morning. He's glad that the album arrived and um, thank you. Thank you so much again. Another friend who I will call a friend who I haven't met from Italy, Andrea Della Piana, sent me a package, another package. Um, folks are so kind, so kind. And um, he sent me a CD and a, and a record. And both are just incredibly wonderful. Thank you so much, Andrea. This is one of my favorite made to measure releases, David Cunningham Water. And uh, I've never seen it on vinyl, and I've never owned it except on the computer as a download, but now I have the CD. Thank you, thank you, Andrea. This is wonderful. And, so, and one of my most favorite minimal pieces in the, um, in the vein of Philip Glass, Steve Reich, David Borden, the piece on here called Blue River. If you, it's online, you can listen to it. It's one of my favorites. I can just play it over and over again. It's so, so excellent. So, Andrea, thank you so much for finding this for me you, you, in your letter. And again, the letters are just... I keep all the letters, folks. Everything you send me, I keep. These letters are, are worth gold. The things that you say, folks. Thank you. Thank you so much, you know. You, you know, for, for folks that watch my um, channel and don't get it or somehow this exchange rubs you the wrong way, you don't understand, 
Well, it's it's a matter of the content of of our of, of our lives. Okay, I'm just a regular guy. You know, people give to me because they 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 relate to something. Okay, I'm not running some kind of game here. <clears throat> we see what we want to see, or we see what we know. And sometimes, if you don't know any different, then how can you believe any different, right? So Andrea, thank you so much for sending me this piece of vinyl because thanks to you, I know about this band, Verdana. I haven't opened it yet. It's still sealed. This is the brand new, this is the latest brother, album by Verdana and Cadenz. Let's see how new this is. This is brand new. Yep, 2015, brand new. Uh, it's right here so I can show it. My Andrea sent me this by the band, Verdina. Wow, I had never heard of them before. And it's, in ways, it's a pop band, but they strike me like a band, kind of like Mew. It's very fizzy, exciting, and um, the music doesn't go the obvi obvious directions, which I love. I love music to keep me listening. So... Really looking forward to uh, putting this on. Thank you so much, Andrea and Marius. Thank you both. Besides that, a BC member who lives in town, Joe Benson, contacted me yesterday and really wanted to visit, wanted to stop by. And uh, I'll be honest, I will be not stingy, but I am careful with my home space here. You know, I don't have a lot of visitors. I don't allow just anybody in my house because of energy. Many people's energy is very unwelcome. And so I keep people the hell out of my house. But Joe will bug me, you know, and usually it takes a few months and I'll finally say, okay, come on by. Joe is a good egg. Joe has a past that's still haunting him. And Joe has definitely turned over a new leaf. I see it very clearly in his eyes and in his actions. So Joe stopped by yesterday to visit and talk, talk matters of the heart and the mind and the spirit. And he brought me a, a gift. Her Helen Merrill and Dick Katz, A Shade of Difference on Milestone. And this is a really fine jazz um, um, date. Helen Merrill is a vocalist, but she has on this album, Elvin Jones, Thad Jones, Jim Hall, Ron Carter, Hubert Laws, Richard Davis, and Gary Bartz. And you can hear it. So Joe Benson brought this by yesterday as a gift. People don't have to do these things. They do it because they want to. And this one, I love it because I'd never seen a milestone or it had been a long time since I'd seen a milestone album this old with this old label really a mellow beautiful jazz album I just want to just say thank you friends so much and try and help others who watch this channel understand what's going on here as I've said at the moment because of finance I'm not in a good position to be giving out a lot of records. I do now and then, okay? But apparently I'm giving in another way, apparently because people are still giving to me. And I appreciate it and I don't know, it's like to a degree there's, n there's nothing that you can say to a person who doesn't see or they see something else and they insist that's what's there. I bring these things up because I deal with it all the time. I want to thank Chris, um, 4127 Basket, and Rob Penix for pointing out that my last video had really good energy, and it did, you know. Uh, I look back at it. The last two videos I did had high energy. Part of it is chemistry and nature. Um, we're, psych we're cyclical, you know, and so I can't always be up. I love it when I'm up but I refuse to pretend to be up, okay? You just, I think that that's, for me, that's a, a, dis, a disservice to be fake. And so I'm glad that I was able to 
give out that spark of energy in the last video. I like it when I feel like that, you know. I do, I do. It's more than coffee. Like I said, it's cycles. It's 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 a lot of things. It's nature, it's events, you know, it's the weather, it's all it's biorhythms. I'm really tempted to go social because of what just happened in South Carolina. I bet some of you who know me, you know you can read my mind, okay? So, I think the last thing I'll do is I'll just speak about a couple albums that are sitting there. I put a whole bunch of records away before I showed them because it was the pile was getting too big. But last night I listened to some Milton Nascimento from Brazil. Milton's, I cannot speak Portuguese. So all I know is that the language is beautiful, his voice is beautiful, the music is beautiful, and so therefore it created a Shangri-La in this room as it played. It just, it brought light. The music brought light. I started to play this one first, and this one has a, is unfortunately slightly marred by 80s production. Uh, Encontro... Edespididas. I'm going to come back to it, but it starts off with those clunky electronic drums and DX7 sounds, which have dated badly. Obviously, there's going to be some good songs in here, but last night I took it off right away because those sounds were offensive. And when I put this on and it started the way it did, I understand. With that in mind, I can also understand how some people, when they put, if they hear my music and the first thing they hear is something electronic, Either turned off. I can understand. I can understand. And in complete contrast, I listened to this Silverfish EP, Damn Fine EP, which is very punky. And, um, and Caterwally with uh, Leslie Rankin on vocals. What a neat voice she has. But this Silverfish were excellent, I thought. I thought this was like one of the best noisy bands on the creation label. Just excellent. Just excellent, okay? Anything else sitting out here? Well, yeah, I got into some more um, Brazilian music. Jorge Ben, this is a reissue. Força Bruta, I believe. Brute Force probably is what it means. Another fantastic album. Something I need to do is get into my CDs and pull a stack I have a variety of world music CDs that I've collected over the years. Um, all kinds of like folk dances and music from ceremonies and stuff that I need to revisit so I can talk about. Um, that's been on my mind, you know, to try to share more music from around the world. Like I said, I don't have as much of it on vinyl as I'd like. Okay, that's it for now, people. Again, I want to say thank you very much, Andrea and Marius, for the, uh, the wonderful gift of music. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, okay. An update on myths and realities. It's due this month. Some folks have gotten a little itchy and have written me asking, wondering what's going on, okay? Well, all I can tell you is I'm waiting. And the holdup is, I can blame it because uh, I have proof. I'm blaming the holdup on the, the major record labels who have hijacked Record Store Day. Um, Sabas, who I'm doing this project with in Greece, the next album, the next vinyl I'm putting out, he put our order in early enough for us to have it, had it back by now. But because of Record Store Day, and because of the smell of money, and the clout of big money and big business, we little independents who Record Store Day was for in the first place, we get nudged to the side. You know, um, it's practical from the manufacturer's point of view. This is the big money. We need the, the accounts to stay a, a, afloat. If we don't honor them, chances are we'll lose the business. I understand that, but it sucks. And we uh, end up with the short end of the stick. You folks that have paid for your records already way back in February, still waiting in April. Me, I paid for it. I paid to get the record manufactured. I went in half. Um, I really didn't have the overhead, but I had to do it. So that's why I'm living so skint, because that was, you know, 
a big chunk of money that I had to dedicate before I can even see a return on it, okay? So if you've pre-ordered Myths and Realities and you're getting itchy feet, just be patient along with me. I'm waiting for the records too, okay? And I'm not going anywhere, all right? Okay? Anybody hijacked or done something to you? Ain't no scam going over here. That burns me when, um, uh, yeah, see, you just, I just had, I'm sorry, I can't be always up, you know, I say what's on my mind. And I get enough feedback that I continually have to deal with naysayers and people who are clueless about what I'm about. And they leave nasty, thoughtless comments. That's why I get like this because I'm always dealing with it. So please be patient along with me. Hopefully, Myths and Realities, the vinyl will be here before the end of April. 